All right, door dashers. Well, here's an interesting discussion. A lot of these restaurants resent being on the app, which is unfortunate because they can make a huge amount of money. I helped a restaurant in Pensacola, Florida, get on the app, and they have an actual to-go place that does more business than their in-house food. Huge, huge, huge business. Um, and instead of the restaurant calling and saying, just take me off the app because they don't like it or whatever, um, they just start giving DoorDash a hard time and they don't understand that the driver's right. not being paid by the minute nor the hour to wait for this food. Um, I talked to one manager that says, oh, I'm not making to-go orders until I make sure all turn my right, customers turn left. inside the restaurant get their food first. And it's like, oh my God. And I mean, this guy's like, you know, the orders that usually come through are for huge sushi rolls and turn stuff like left. that. And they average from um, 50 to to $100 sushi rolls um, on the DoorDash orders. Um, and so like every order is like 10 12 $13. But, um, and then uh, um, there's restaurants that just don't even know how to do to go successfully or the stuff's laying around. Um, and uh, uh, it's really bad. Like uh, there's one um, McAllister's in Fort Walton. The manager absolutely hates DoorDash. And this is really sad because they get a horrendous amount of orders for that particular store. I don't think the owner would be too excited about it, but uh, uh, turn left, here's the then thing. Turn right. um, when you, you know, get an order and that, you know, you don't get paid by the minute or the hour mm. anymore, DoorDash used to supplement when you had wait time or whatever, um, it really hurts. It really, really hurts because orders are just flying by. And you can't do anything because you're stuck on some order and and uh, you're not getting the food. I did turn run at a pizza place turn left. in Dustin, Florida. I think it was Papa John. Mm -hmm. Is that what it was? Turn left. Papa John's. And do you know DoorDash had forced me to wait there for like two and a quarter hours. And that was really bad. Um, they kept telling me I could not, you know... Uh, unassigned from the order or I couldn't do that and I'm like how much are you going to pay me because I've already been here all this Turn time left. and the order was only a small order was like eight dollars and I still had to drive like ten more miles or something and um they have now fixed the unassigned button on the app again so it will work so you don't have to text DoorDash and all that junk that you can unassign from the order so I don't know about you but what I'm doing now is when I go to a restaurant to pick up an order, I set my timer when I get out of the car to go into the restaurant for 10 minutes. If I don't see that food being handed to me and checked over with me in a 10 minute period, I'm walking out that door and I'm unassigning that order so I can get another order because you lose money um, you know the whole idea is to try to get at least one order an hour and these people just love to use our time up and customers do too turn they don't left, understand then turn right. we are not paid by the hour or the minute we're only paid a small fee and then their tip and and it's usually two three dollars an order and then customer tip and if they're not a tipping individual then um, I sure hate it for them because um, I will absolutely not do any order that's under eight dollars period and um, uh, there's just no way no way I see a few of these two and three dollar orders come flying through because DoorDash likes to trick people and see if they'll take it um, I've taken several six dollar orders and I think we did like six of them one day, and then they gave us like a 75 cent bonus. Mm -hmm. And all my orders are on time or way before time, so um, I'm very thorough and very careful with the orders. So 
I don't know what you're going to do, but I'm setting that timer so we can teach these restaurants, get this food ready, and um, uh, any orders that, that happen to lag longer than that or anything else, I'm rating on the app and unhappy and happy smiley faces that uh, always, I always put low base pay. I click that off. And then uh, if they're a bad restaurant, I will comment and use the person's name that was rude to me. Um, or if the restaurant acted confused, um, I check off those. Um, bad experience restaurant, I check off that. And um, I just make sure to check out all the stuff, food not ready. Because DoorDash, when it opened, the whole design was the food was ordered by the customer on the DoorDash app and then the uh, restaurant was contacted by DoorDash by phone or through an app or uh, on a computer online and the, the Turn right. restaurant answers how long it'll take it to be ready or they push the button that says it's ready um, which is supposed to then in turn send the dasher immediately and then, uh, so the dasher is supposed to be picking up the food when it's ready. They're supposed to have a rep there to go over the food order with the door dasher to make sure nothing's been forgotten. And, uh, and then the dasher immediately delivers Arriving the food to the customer right. in a hot bag and cold bag. And, uh, the party's over, you know what I mean? Uh, boom, boom, boom. So, um... That's what I'm going to do. Uh, comment below and you let me know what you think or what your um, best idea is of handling it. Um, you know, we're not allowed to get sassy with the restaurant. Uh, we have to be very, very careful because they can report us and get us fired. And um, uh, we're not supposed to be rude to other dashers either. So, anyway, let me know what you think comment below and uh, we'll talk to you later.